Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MyMire.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at five tweaks to improve your experience with the app switcher. The first one we're going to look at is called OXO2. This is available in the Big Boss repo for $3.99. This is a multi-task switcher on crack. Instead of the simple app switcher that we're used to seeing by the stock iOS, we are given this OXO2 version. And you see you have all your toggles at the top. Here's all your apps that's running in the background right here. If you wanted to open any one of these, you could just tap on it and it would open it. They close the same way as they always did just by flipping up. Or, or actually, I think you can even flip down on this. No, if you flip down, it opens. But anyway, there's so much that goes with OXO, guys, it would take an hour to go through it. I'm just going to hit some of the very high points and let it go. In the bottom left corner is your brightness. Right corner is your volume. In the middle is your media controls. Flip up, you have some of your control center uh, features like the flashlight, calculator, the camera. Up at the top, you have some toggles. Now, what makes this is unique is OXO is divided up into three different features. The first one being the multi center, which you just you just primarily saw right there. Um, if you swipe up on the left or right corner, you have hot corners. So sw swapping up on the left corner, you you get the quick sl uh, switcher it's referred to. And if you flip through any of these, it will open any of the app that you stop and release on like that. It will open it directly. Swipe up on the right corner. It brings up OXO like so. Now, if you are inside of an application and swipe up on the right side, it's going to bring you back to the home screen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it animates back to the home screen. Swipe up in the center. And you get OXO. Guys, it's a, just a brilliant tweet. It's $3.99 and it's worth three times that. Check it out. I know you'll love it. It's OXO2 for iOS 7. The next one we're going to look at is called Classic Switcher. You can get this in the Big Boss repo for $0.99. Cents. What this does, guys, it allows you to take the iOS 6 style of the app switcher and just add to it. You can see here I have three rows of icons in my app switcher. It has like a little white overlay at the top up here. So let's change some of this stuff up just a little bit. I did that drastic so you would see. I want to put it back to one. And I'm also going to remove that white overlay and just take it back to a blur is what I prefer. And you can change the animation if you want to from the uh, uncover slide up bar only slide up so if we open it now that looks more like the iOS 6 uh, app switcher there and you can flip through these and open any of them you want to if you swipe to the left and release it's going to close all the apps that you have running in the background which I'm not going to do that right now but I also like that blur they've added to the top up there looks really nice that's classic switcher guys you can get it for 99 cents third one we're looking at is called grid switcher you can get this for a dollar fifty and what this does is it adds a grid to your app switcher you see right now I have the 2x2 grid selected so if we go in here and change this up just a bit in the settings you can go up to the top of the layout if you want 3x3 three three. now when we open up we'll have three across and three down it just depends on how many you want to look at at one time. Four by four. They get to be pretty small, but they still include the icons, which looks very nice and makes the apps easy to stand out easy so you can select which one you want. The net, and you can even change things like the icon scale if you want to make them the scale smaller. If you wanted to choose the four by four grid but have smaller icons, you could do that by fiddling around with that you can offset from the bottom and you can turn off the labels if you want to that's called grid switcher and you can get it for a dollar fifty in the big boss repo the fourth one we're looking at is called switch spring switch spring gives you a way to 
restart your springboard or quit all apps at one time let me show you how it works just open your app switcher swipe up on the home screen card and you get some options here to restart quit apps or cancel and it stated that if you quit all the apps it doesn't quit apps that are playing music so that's pretty nice to have that way your music will continue playing so if you want to you could quit all apps restart the springboard we'll restart the springboard and go from there but anyway guys that's called switch spring it's very useful the fifth and final tweak that we're going to share with you is called OS experience this requires an iPad to show unfortunately I don't have an iPad at the moment but I will state that this is one of my favorite tweaks for the iPad and if you have an iPad you definitely need to check this one out and it's available for $9.99 in the Big Boss Repo. It allows you to open more than one app at one time. It just brings out the full potential of the iPad's ability by using this tweak and why Apple hasn't already in included this in their stock OS. I could never explain that, but anyway, the jailbreak developers have pick the ball up and run with it on this one but anyway guys it's an awesome tweak one you definitely want to have we hope you've enjoyed this top five series we've been doing let us know what you think in the comments don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this video it really helps me grow and that's something you could do for me and keep coming back